All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. So, uh, Alpha 12 just launched. Um, well, not just launched, about a week ago, but uh, I was a little ahead on episodes, so I'm caught up now. And uh, basically, uh, if you can't read, I'll read it. Drugs, booze, weapons. This alpha is all about contraband. Prisoners now steal things from virtually anywhere in your prison. Even the bottle of whiskey in the warden's bottom drawer isn't safe. Search a prisoner or a cell or order a shakedown of the, all, of the entire prison. But there's nothing a prisoner hates more than being searched, so watch out for trouble. I hope you enjoy the new update. So it's basically just a contraband update. Um... It doesn't really go too deep into what they did, but a quick uh, explanation is, uh, let me just pause things here because I've been letting things run a little bit. Um, this is the contraband button. It basically shows you where all con where the contraband is in your prison and what could be stolen. The workroom obviously has tools. The storage room has tools. Um, Visitation, this is all the stuff that can be brought in through visitation. Cigarettes, drugs, booze, mobile phones. And the same stuff can also be found in offices because they go in and out of the offices. Um, kitchen can be uh, knives, forks, and spoons, obviously. Knives and forks. Um, uh, forks and spoons can also be taken from the kitchen. The knives never leave the kitchen. And then, of course, the infirmary has all this fun stuff. Drugs, needles, poisons, medicine and scissors so basically what this is telling you is this is where your rooms are that can uh, bring you contraband and i haven't seen it yet because i haven't caught anyone with contraband but apparently when someone is caught with contraband it'll give you a trail where you'll, you'll actually be able to see everything um the whole trail like where it came from where uh who they got it from so if someone is caught with drugs you can it'll actually show you where it came from what prisoner had it and then you could search that prisoner or if it came from visitation maybe we could throw a guard in visitation if that's getting out of control um but uh yeah so it's that's uh it's pretty cool uh the, another thing that they added also if you go to the contraband uh tab in our reports uh right now we haven't been caught i haven't caught anyone with contraband because i just literally turned it on but basically uh the way it works is this you'll see like right now there's a there's a big supply of narcotics in our prison um so that means that some people have drugs uh what you don't see is a lot of demand for drugs we also don't see a big demand for weapons tools or luxuries um so when you see a demand for weapons going up, then you know that you're going to have problems in the prison. There's a riot coming or a fight coming or something. Uh, so um, when you'll, you'll see a big when tools are in supply, uh, it means that they're stealing stuff from, you know, the shops or wherever. So right now they're basically just by looking at this, I can tell you that there's drugs in the prison. What I could do is a shakedown this button right down here on the bottom. Basically, it orders an immediate search of all, all the guards will search every cell, but it really m makes the prisoners angry when you do that. And uh, so everything you do kind of has consequences. So um, I'll try and see if I can handle this narcotics thing, but I'm not too concerned with what I've seen so far. But yeah, this is something that was added with Alpha 12, part of the contraband, contraband um, update. Something else I did just to kind of show you guys what it's all about is uh, the clone tool. Uh, it's kind of misleading. You can clone, uh, you're supposed to be able to use it to clone certain parts of your prison. So if you want to see how it says you could rap rapidly duplicate areas of your prison, such as cells. Um, yeah, that's great, but it'll only do a six by six block. So it's not like you're going to be able to... Um, copy an entire block of cells and hold on one second uh, it's not like you'll be able to uh, copy an entire cell block and then paste it you know that's that's not how it works so um yeah the clone tool is basically like you get a little six by six area that's it so say you wanted to just copy a cell over and over again i guess you could use it for that but to be honest with you i don't really see the need uh, I don't really see where it's advantageous at all, so we're paused. And basically, 
stage that we're at right now is um, we need to start uh, we need to start building our prison out a little. We need to add another cell block. So I'm going to do that now. Just want to measure. This is what 17, 17 by 20, and that's going to give me one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's going to give me 12 more cells, which is going to, um, bring me up to, uh, 31 prisoners, which is good because then we just got to do a little add on over here before you know it, we might actually make our, uh, we might actually make our, our goal of 50 prisoners. So, so get rid of that. Um, these cells are actually bigger than what I need. So if I do this 16 by 16, one, two, three, that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 16 by 16. It doesn't take up as much space. So if I was to do 16 by 16, I could actually, oh, I don't want to do that. 16, by 16, I could actually bring this out here and add even more cells. So um, that's good. Definitely at the point now where we've got it. You know, the prison is pretty much running itself at this point. The fence made a big difference in the escapes. Uh, the prisoners are behaving themselves for the most part. Uh, my money situation, I'm not crazy about, but once we start, um, once we start doing some more, uh, building and, uh, license plates, making license plates, uh, we'll do okay. I'm not too concerned about the money. Uh, the guards, it says three of four. It's only because I have one guard stationed, uh, so he doesn't, he's three of four guards. It says three guards with four of total. It's three are on patrol and one is stationed at the gate, so... He's just there to make sure that nobody uh, runs away. Um, so let me see. It looks like everything else is pretty much taken care of. I don't really have any major complaints right now. Uh, the guys are working. The schedule's working out pretty good. Um, I think I might just give them, you know, this, there's really no need for things like shower because uh, you can just make this free time and if they need the shower in this time, they're going to shower. The good thing is that if they don't need the shower, they're not going to run to the shower and stand there, which is kind of silly. So um, give them plenty of free time before work, let them work, and um, three hours of free time might actually be too much, so I might actually add an hour of work on there. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. More work, more money. So we let them eat. <clears throat> we'll let them eat, and then they can do uh, they can do their yard time, free time after they eat to take care of what they need to take care of. And so a couple of things. Um, I don't have prisoners helping in the kitchen right now. I think I got rid of all of them because they were all escaping. But I like to schedule work before eat because if you do that, um, they will actually help in the kitchen. I noticed that if I do... If I don't have them working before uh, eating, the prisoners won't be able to actually help in the kitchen. So it's kind of silly the way it works. I've seen it. I've seen it work both ways, so it's a little buggy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But lately, I've noticed that it works better to just have uh, work hours before eat, so that the prisoners will actually help when you want them to. And this shower thing before bed, uh, I'm just going to give them free time. Um, not sure if we really need all this yard time. Uh, I'm going to leave it for now and just see what happens. So they get an hour to eat for lunch and two hours at night for dinner. Uh, no one's complaining. Meal quantity I have set at medium. Variety is at medium. If they complain, I can fix that too, and that'll help, you know, with their complaints. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to... Uh, see if I can't get this all set up and 
and uh, I think it might be time to extend our workshop here. Make this all workshop here so I can add some more, uh, maybe more tables and maybe some more um, um, presses and saws. So that uh, you know, more we make, the more the more money we make. The more they work, the more money we make. Yeah, I'm kind of losing it a little bit today. I'm tired and yeah. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave this to go. I was gonna extend the yard out and bring it out here, but uh, they don't really seem to be complaining. Like <clears throat> it's like I've been saying. Uh, somebody was commenting on um, you know doing individual buildings. That's great. For bigger or maximum security prisons and minimum uh, but this is a minimum security prison so I'm not really gonna uh, go too crazy like that I just want one building and in the end it's just when we finish this and we actually have 50 prisoners uh, it's always nice to get paid in the end when we have uh, 50 prisoners we met our goal this will probably just be one big building and then uh, next time around we will uh, maybe go a little bigger who knows? Yeah, I think next time we'll probably do a regular prisoners, maximum security prisoners, and then just coordinate off. So kind of have an idea for the next prison, which could be pretty cool. Uh, I don't want to say too much until I know for sure I can do it. But um, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to mark these out, and we can start building the next uh, the next cell and extend our uh, workroom. So sit tight, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back, and I got my cells all laid out nice. The foundation has been built, and what I'm going to do is uh, the prison doors are going to be open here for these cells. The doors are going to be here, and then here, and a row here. So we got 5, 10, just added 15 cells to our prison. And uh, I know this is a little bit of a waste of space and all, but... Um, I guess if I really wanted to, I could throw another cell here, be a little bigger than the rest of them. So just so we can have 16 cells. Um, so when I originally had um, planned this prison out, I wanted to make the cells um, bigger uh, three by three, just because it just leaves more room, like we want to put a TV in there and stuff, but... <clears throat> We really don't need to make them that big. Uh, you can just put a TV anywhere in here, and they'll be happy. Even though these cell these cells are, you know, obviously very small and tiny, but uh, you can still throw a TV here, and they'll be happy. That's all you're gonna do, though. You won't be able to do anything like bookshelves and stuff like that. So, I think when we plan out our bigger prison next time around, we'll have pr bigger cells. But for these guys, minimum security guys, they're not really complaining too much. We're gonna throw. Uh, we're just going to throw these cells together. So I'm noticing that the prisoners aren't all being fed. 11%, that's pretty bad. So we're going to take care of that. Now that we have the um, offices, our staff only. I don't know why that wasn't done yet. So I was going to just make this kitchen staff only, but let's hire some people to cook. So when the new prisoners come in, um, they'll fill these spots and uh, I just realized I messed up this door so let's dismantle this door while they're doing that I'm gonna lay out these cells we're still paused which is what I want so let's just do this I'm not sure how we're doing on power so I'm gonna have to save some money maybe for a capacitor um, doors. Let's go with uh, here, like that, and like that. Doesn't really matter where the doors go. They're all pretty much laid out the same. And let's let's just add that bigger cell. Tier boss will sit here. Whoever controls everything on the tier, the tough guy, he's going to be in the bigger cell. So. Let's get our middle done. It's going to be a lot of money, but it's what you got to do if you want to make money. You got to spend money to make money. Whoop. 
don't want that. Alright. That's good. Very good. The sooner they get that built, the better. And we'll put another door here where it belongs. And I'm just going to let them start working. And in the meantime, let's get a capacitor here because, yeah, it's pretty. I might actually throw two, but let's see if we can do it with one for now. And so I think we still have more spending to do. We got to get a. We gotta get our beds. A lot of beds. It's gonna be a lot of money. We gotta get power to these cells. We gotta get water. Oops. Oops. Don't want that there. Why don't I put the doors up here? Might have to cancel these beds for now. I don't think I left any doors on this middle section, so... Yeah, I didn't. I didn't leave any doors. So, we do this. Don't build there. Don't build there. Don't build there. Don't build there. And let's demolish this. And let's demolish this. Oh wait, we don't want to demolish that. I think that's good. So we're gonna put the doors on this side. Which means we could put beds. Oh, I don't want you yet. Here, 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 here. Okay, and now everybody needs a place to go. So, I'll give them a place to go. Yeah, this is getting confusing, because uh, I made a mistake. Alright. Okay, it looks like this is gonna go here, and this is gonna go here. 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 And there. Okay. That's it. Just gotta run our utilities. Let's get these guys some electric. Should be fine on electric. It's not like these guys draw any power from their lights and stuff, but, um. Just like to be sure, you don't want to start messing around with, once you lose power, you kind of make everybody angry, so. I think I'm going to run the large pipe, extend the large pipe as well. Um, here, and then we'll just run it this way. Take care of these guys. And then I'll just run the small ones. Everybody gets connected here, connected here. And we'll just run a pipe right there. I'll connect everybody. Get everybody all connected. Looks like they got rid of my jail door, so let's see. see it. I don't know, do we even really need it though? I mean, got this door here. Do we really need another door here to separate this block? I guess not. I'm gonna just get rid of this. Sometimes this is confusing. These plans that you lay out. I think we're pretty much... What happened up here? I didn't finish? 
What in the hell is wrong with me? I could have swore I did this. I didn't do this. Oh, yeah, I did. I'm just waiting on him. They're falling behind. I can't keep up with me. I'm just going to let this run let these guys finish up. Alright guys, so while they're finishing up these jail cell doors, let's designate these cells. Have new prisoners coming in six hours. So I want to make sure their rooms are ready. They have power. They have a bed and a toilet. Probably gonna have to throw TVs in this in these rooms at some point. Um, I should really consider making a common room now, but I don't know. Every time I've made those rooms in the past, uh, they never really use them. So right now, I think my main concern is food and uh, getting laundry, because that's what they're gonna complain about the most. And if our money gets any better, uh, as a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's increase our, let's increase our, um, workshop here. Uh, let's see. I really don't want to have, I'm going to try and do this without making another hole in my prison. Uh, what do I want to do here? At least I have the fence up now, so if I do do it, which I think that's exactly what I'm going to do if I do it like that. I think I want to do this. And then I want to do this. Oh. Did I grab the end of it there? Yeah, it looks like I grabbed the end of it. So I kind of put the two together there. And then what I'll do is I'm going to knock out this wall here. For now, I'll just do this so that they don't complain about not having an entrance. That side's good. And now that side is good. All right, so now we have our little extension of our... Uh, I'm not worried about this. It's not going to be too crazy here. But I do uh, want to get rid of this wall. And I want to get rid of this and this. So we don't have a lot of money. So, and we don't have a lot of prisoners. We still have time before the next prisoners come in. So maybe what I'll do is I'm just going to add one of each. For now. And, uh... So I need money to buy sheet metal. The more tables we add here, the, the more sheet metal we need. So <clears throat> eventually what I'll do is I'll either move these tables back or just build around these tables. It would be nice if they could fill these tables up. And yeah, okay, so not bad. We got our workshop extended. Oh, let me actually extend the workshop. So now our workshop is extended. Um, <clears throat> once we get new people in here, I need to increase the amount of people who are cleaning too. Uh, I don't really have enough money to hire a janitor right now. The new schedule seems to be working out just fine. They're not complaining about showering or anything like that. So like I said, the biggest thing is the meals. And uh, that's it. So the next episode, we're going to take on some new prisoners. And uh, let's see how we do with our extended workshop and uh, see if we can start making some money. And we're at 35 prisoners, so 15 more prisoners to go, and uh, we'll call it a success. So, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Take care.